welcome everyone welcome to healing circle talks uh, healing circles are uh, safe havens and i am really glad to uh, host this space once again with all of you so before we begin the circle please allow me to read the uh, guidelines thank you healing circles are safe havens they are built on the foundation of kindness and respect we all participants agree to listen to each other with compassion and curiosity we honor each other's unique ways of healing and don't presume to advise or fix or trust each other we hold all the uh, story shared in the circle within us and we trust each one of us has guidance we need within us and we rely on the power of silence to access it so uh, welcome once again to uh, healing circle talks and today we have a very special guest with us uh, katie bori she is a cancer recovery and confidence coach she provides motivational support to those battling with cancer that's wonderful really good to know because this is a piece which we at times miss uh, during this entire uh, recovery phase so yes uh, people who want to move forward in their life and need help to recover kati helps them she likes to care with kindness and gentleness she believes that every part of a cancer patient's life can be changed during coaching sessions followed by easy simple weekly tasks such as helping them to think positive building up their confidence allowing them to carry out a new style or make up application to hide their scars caused by the surgeries she has a facebook page called supporting women who strive against cancer to move forward in life and i would like to add when like her scars are beautiful uh, so the this page lets ladies get nutrition advice daily exercises by a personal trainer skin care and makeup She also does weekly radio interviews on 93.1 Life FM about motivation, self-esteem, personal development and mental health. The recorded podcast are reachable on uh, her website mixcloud.com. I will also share this link in the circle. So, uh, welcome Katie in the Healing Circle Talks and uh, would love to uh, hear from you how your journey began in this space and uh, any insights that you think will be beneficial to people who are going through the journey. <laughs> Thank you very much for the lovely introduction. I hope you can hear me. Great. Thank you. Everybody can hear me. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Lovely. Welcome everyone. Um I'm delighted that you are here. And it's so wonderful to connect um with ladies all over in the world and especially India as well. It's um it's a great pleasure. I was in India before twice. I was in Pune um helping in a school as a volunteer and a few years later I went back and I was helping in a rescue center um and actually I found out my calling as well and I can see that we have gentlemen here so it's for you as well it's not just for ladies but I hope you can get so much value from this event and um you could have your question at the end i'm trying to um keep the talk for um about 30 40 minutes and after that we can have uh, questions and i'm looking forward to answer the questions as well okay so um dimple if you would like to share the slides um that would be great thank you great thank you okay so uh, i think probably in the zoom uh yes first time i'm opening powerpoint so it's allowing me to uh, yes change the settings great we are all set let me try again lovely yeah you can see this right i will go into the screen yes yes perfect that's lovely that's great so um life coaching is a wonderful tool um what would help you to uh, move forward in life and if you want to change your life and if you want to back normality as much as possible um you would get it with life coaching and um if you would like to move it to the next slide and thank you very much for being here everyone and if you have questions just write it down now and at the end you can um ask it so just a little bit about me um you can see that um I was a porcelain painter before and social educator. I have theology diploma as well 
and I was working with luxurious brand of Shiseido as a beauty advisor and I was doing makeup and bridal and photo shoots and fashion shows as well and I started my own business and after that I was doing image and color and as a cancer and recovery coach I help ladies to be supported during the time after they're finishing their treatments and you can see on the picture that I have um, bridal um, a picture there and I did her beautiful makeup there and I had photo shoots so you can see the picture at the bottom and you can also see me doing makeup in India when I was uh, working in a rescue center as a volunteer and I was doing the ladies hair and makeup as well and that was the time when I got touched and I felt that I called to serve women and support them as well um, and I was doing coaching with different age groups, but when I realized that the beauty and the makeup and the skincare and the colors are also suitable in the recovery with the coaching together, I, I can give back the ladies what they need after they got their treatments. I realized that I have a complete program as well, and I love to do that, and I love to serve women who are recovering from cancer. You can move to the next slide, please. So you probably have the question that what is life coaching and who is a life coach? Um, because they are two different things. So the life coach is a person who's like me and the life coaching is the process where we help clients. And specifically saying that um, we help clients because in counseling and therapy, they actually use the term of patient. But this is something where people are moving more forward and they are clients now, they are not patients anymore. So life coaching is a professional um, tool actually, what we can use and help to people to have better relationships, better career, day by day life as well, and becoming a better version of themselves and you would be able to make better decisions later about your future as well. So in life coaching, you would get help with your goals and um, you would get help as well to see that where are you exactly now finishing your treatments, you are out of the hospital, but you are not back to work. You are not back to normality and the life coach would help you in between time to fill up that gap to help you to to actually plan out your future so you're not going to be fearful you're not going to be stressed what is going to happen in the future with you okay and as a cancer warrior you are going to um, get support from a life coach um, how to adjust your life to the new future and also how to socialize again because I would understand that being in a hospital alone and um, or at home alone a lot it's giving you so much fear and it's hard to go back and communicate with other people and connect with other people and you always think about your treatments, your medication and all of these things. As a cancer warrior, yeah, you are going to um, help with how to socialize. So connect again with people because you were so long in the hospital alone. And it's going to help you how to connect properly with your family and your friends as well and to enjoy life, but in a different level because um, you have different strength you have different abilities because you had cancer but it's not going to identify your future any longer if you think positively about it and you can plan it out and you can move forward in that sense i hope it's clear if something it's not please let me know so um, if you could move to the next slide please so in this slide you would see in front of you if you go back one please it just jumped one. So yes, one slide back. Yeah, that's perfect, thank you. So in this slide you would see, because you probably heard so many times that what is life coaching, what is counseling, and what is therapy? And it's a mixture of everything. And 
and you hear about um, you know doctor's appointments and phrases and professional words as well and you don't know what each thing means so in one column you can see what is life coaching and the other two you would see that what is counseling and therapy and you're not going to mix that any longer so counseling and therapy is helping for people to solve the past issues and move forward in life but it's all about the past what emotion did you have what thoughts did you have and how did you behave after that so the counselor and the therapist are going to work with that with you if you would like to have counseling or therapy the life coaching is all about the present moment of life to the future so the life coach is concentrating of seeing you right now as a client who finished her or his cancer treatment and it's going to help you from this moment of your life to the future so the life coach is going to be moving you forward constantly forward and help you to think differently about your life and about yourself as well especially not thinking about yourself as a patient any longer because you are not a patient if you left the hospital you are a client of a life coach you are a client of a hairdresser you are a client of a, a nail technician you are a client you are a family member you are a friend you are not a patient anymore okay and the life coach is going to enable you to bring up your potentials as well so just to see what are you capable now about your future you can go back to work but not as much as you worked before you can do things but not exactly the same things what you did before and you are going to learn um more of the main thing is when you have your future planned out and you have it in front of you many times the cancer survivor patients and as clients of mine they would say that I'm more relaxed now. I can see my future. I have hope now. It's not so bad. I can see it that um, I'm not crippled or anything like that. I'm capable. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I can work and I'm able to do it in a different way. And I want to contribute in my community as well. So if you would like to move to the next one, please. That's lovely. So you are going to see that what kind of support a life coach can give you during your recovery time and what kind of support the session will give in to you. So you come into a life coach to talk about your problems, your fears, your anxiety, your stress you have no confidence, you want self-esteem back again. So all of these things would be supported. And at the end of your um, coaching sessions, you would get back your confidence, you would get back your self-esteem, you would be able to see your future without anxiety and stress, because you are going to feel that it's okay, I have this, I'm not a patient anymore, I'm a functioning, fully functioning, healed person and as a life coach um, the life coach is going to give you clarity if you could move the next one please it jumped back again <laughs> thank you so you would have clarity about what do you want in the future and we will help you as well if some obstacle would show up how could you go over it how you can destroy that obstacle and how can you go and do it better or go around the obstacle or destroy the obstacle and be able to do your things properly and not being afraid not hiding especially not hiding just being brave and bold and doing it trying it new things that's okay it's going to be successful anyway and you are going to get strategies as well how to do it properly and you are going to 
get more skills as well how you can live your life after cancer as well okay and it's going to be a long lasting change in your life because life coaches we help to people to think differently and when you have a new um thought in your mind you are going to act about it in a new way but just imagine if you do things in a certain way all the time and you think about it in a certain way all the time you would get the same result but we can stop you at that point and we could say that how about if you would think positively on that way and you move forward and you think differently and you would change your thinking gradually so when we put a new thing or you put a new thing in your life you need 20 days to be able to implant that new thing in your life other than that it's not going to work you need minimum of 20 days to do it all the time all the time all the time and think about it all the time and try it out all the time as many times as you can and after 20 days you would be able to to do it without thinking and that's the new thinking which is going to change your life and move you forward as well lovely and so in the session we usually help to find out what is you really really want sometimes it comes out in a beautiful ideas which were hidden when somebody was a child and they would say that i always wanted to that or i always wanted to become something else but life happened and i started my family and i wasn't able to go for my dream and it's important to dream because when you have it in your focus you are going to work for it and if you would like to become a beautician or a tailor or or a barber or you can do that you can become that you can become a lawyer a doctor whatever you would like to become it just depends how much willingly you want to bring your dream up bringing it to your focus and after that you would be able to work on it and with the life coach you have the support as well and you would be able to discover and explore yourself as well because sometimes when life is happening and life is fast and it's just going on and on and you don't have time to really know yourself who you are and who you can become and what profession can you do really well now after you finishing your cancer treatment sometimes um the clients would say that i promised myself on the hospital bed that if i'm going to recover or when i'm going to recover i'm going to do this 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 and that and two or three weeks later or months later they forget it so let's be focused on the real thing you promised yourself something on the hospital bed and you said that i want to do that and if you really really want to do that you could have a life coach as support and you would be able to do that and sometimes if you feel that okay i don't have a life coach now and i don't know how to get in contact with the life coach now you can always have a little notebook and you can always have a pen okay and you can start to journal so when you try to write down that these are my dreams and i promised on my hospital bed or i promised my children when i'm going to be healed from cancer i'm going to do this and this and this so take out your notebook and start start to write down what those dreams and what i really want to do and i don't let life to push all of those things down because i got another chance to live again and i want to do my, for things for myself for my family for my children and i want a happier life i don't want to go back to the life which was rushing 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 and not having things i want to have a different life now I hope it sounds good for you to say that that 
you promised yourself something on that hospital bed and you want to do it. So take that notebook out and start to write it down. What were your dreams? You can jump to the next slide, please. Okay. So why could be beneficial for a cancer survivor to have coaching? So you can see um, all, of, all of the good benefits of it. So you're starting to take yourself more ser serious and you're taking actions immediately. So if we agreed on something or you write it down in your notebook or in your journal, that I agreed with myself that I'm going to go to that agency and I'm going to look for that job, which I really, really wanted to see if I'm capable to do that as a cancer survivor, okay? Or if I would like to advertise my business. So today I'm going to take the step and I'm going to do it. And the next one is creating momentum to have results as well. So we can help you as life coaches to have that little bit of boost encouragement as well to move forward and do what you like to do and in a sense that nobody's going to stopping you so you're really really going to get connected with that agent or are you really going to put up that um, advertisement about your business because you are ready to go back to work okay and you can have um, better goals as well based on what you want you can also have um, as a benefit that you would have more time and you would have more energy because all of these things are going to boost you up really really high and like you are going to feel it that you are unstoppable okay so you are going to enjoy this and you are going to see yourself in a different perspective so sometimes it's important to say goodbye to that person who was on the hospital bed and who was a patient. You can say thank you for bringing you forward, but you got this now and you can move forward as a different person, okay? So think about it all the time that you are not a patient anymore, you are equal than others, you are able to move forward and you can do this. Even if you're not going to work um, five days a week or six days a week, you can do three days a week. And after that, you gain strength all the time and you would be able to do this really, really nicely. So don't be afraid to face the reality about what you are capable to do. And you can put it down in your notebook as well that I'm good at writing, I'm good at talking, I'm good at selling, I'm good at people, um, um, I'm good with um, dishes or I'm good with cooking and all of these things. And just realize it, how much potential you have all the time, realize it, that you are not the same person who was on the hospital bed, okay? And um, having a life coach who can help you it's helping you to bring the blind spot the blind spot it's which is not in your view so it's here so you're not seeing it actually and the life coach can bring it into your focus and that could be your stress your fear your anxiety or being shy or all of these things we can bring it forward and we can help you to be confident and be fearless and plan your day without stress as well so it's going to be very very helpful to work with the life coach and we help you until you succeed so we help you in between session as well and we help you after finishing the coaching sessions with you we can catch up with you later and see how you are doing so that you are not alone in this journey okay but okay. Um, we wait for her to come back, uh, but I think जो भी वो share कर रहे थे काफी काफी सही चीज है क्योंकि हम लोग जब उस journey से निकल रहे होते हैं और उसके बाद में we all know that life changes for many people and uh, it's like okay how do I start it from zero again and uh, because your physical appearance changes your 
मेंटली आई थिंक पीपल हैव कम आउट ऑफ इट वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉगर सो देर विल पावर बिकम्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड कि हाँ ये बैटल हमने निकाल ली है तो हम कुछ भी कर सकते हैं विद द सेम टाइम आई हैव सीन मेनी सर्वाइवर्स कमिंग एंड सेइंग दैट दे गो इन टू डिप्रेशन आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट बिकॉज सोसाइटी डजेंट लुक एट दम एट द सेम वे दे वर लुकिंग बिफोर और uh, उनको जॉब नहीं मिलता है बिकॉज uh, ऐसा लगता है कि हाँ कैंसर हो गया है ट्रीटमेंट हुआ है तो आई मीन दीज आर लाइव एग्जाम्पल्स एट आई हर्ड एंड लुक इन टू की एफिशेंसी उतना नहीं होगा लीव बहुत ज़्यादा लेनी होगी सो so, उस वक्त होता है कि जब लोगों को सबसे ज़्यादा सपोर्ट चाहिए होता है उस वक्त उतना सपोर्ट नहीं मिलता है दे गेट इट फाइंड दे फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू गेट मैरिड टू गेट अरो पार्टनर सो उस वक्त हाउ डू वी बिल्ड अवर ओन कॉन्फिडेंस अगेन हाउ डू वी नो मूव फॉरवर्ड इन लाइफ विद अ बेटर स्ट्रॉगर एंड कॉन्फिडेंट पर्सन एंड दैट इज वेयर आई थिंक सम ऑफ द टेक्निक्स एंड कोचिंग्स आर रियली रियली हेल्पफुल सो and that's what uh, katie was sharing so um, uh, i think yeah we her connection uh, broke off so i'll stop sharing the screen for now yeah but uh, very I'm, i'm i would like to hear from all of you about your uh, personal journey with cancer ki jab aapka recovery ho raha tha so uh, uh, how did you overcome this or aapka jo next phase shuru hua after your treatment Uh, उसको आपने कैसे uh, लिया क्योंकि आप जिस तरीके से आप उससे बाहर आए हैं आई एम श्योर कि वो बहुत लोगों को हेल्प करेगा क्योंकि ट्रीटमेंट uh, में फिर भी काफ़ी एक uh, होता है कि हाँ ट्रीटमेंट मुझे अच्छे से निकालना है बट दिन जब ट्रीटमेंट ख़त्म हो जाता है तब ज़्यादा और तब उतना सपोर्ट सब लोगों से नहीं मिलता है जितना ट्रीटमेंट के बीच में मिलता है ट्रीटमेंट खत्म होने के बाद लगता है हाँ अब तो ट्रीटमेंट हो गया ना अब तो सब कुछ ठीक है अब तो तुम पहले की तरह वापस सब कुछ कर सकते हो बट जबकि रियलिटी ऐसी नहीं होती ट्रीटमेंट के बाद ही उतना ही सपोर्ट चाहिए होता है जितना कि पहले चाहिए होता है सो वुड लव टू हियर फ्रॉम यू फ्रॉम योर एक्सपीरियंसेज सो मीनाक्षी आप शेयर करना चाहेंगे अपना एक्सपीरियंस हाई मेहुल I am sorry ek mera mummy ka call chal raha tha and i could not <laughs> focus no so, yeah actually i was listening in the beginning and it was really good you meet people like uh, like uh, kd to actually you know uh, third party support milta hai to i am sure it's really good but uh, yeah i'm sorry i was not listening to you i was on the call with my mom my question was mehul that you know jab hum log aise journey se nikalte hain so uh, uh, after, during trip pe- There is a phase, and after treatment, there is a phase. During treatment, we have people who support us, and we are also in the same place. We are in the same thing. Ki, okay, we want to finish the treatment. We want to come out of it. But after the treatment is over, after that, we have a lot of support system. Slowly, slowly, it becomes less and less. Because now, people think that after the treatment, you have become completely fine. Yes, that's true. While treatment, after the treatment, So while after so, treatment, um, we need support. So when your treatment got over, and I have seen your pictures when you were during the treatment. So that transition, how did you overcome that? What practices that you followed, and because of the way, you know, like you are shining bright today. So. No, <laughs> 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 uh, it's true. Simple. Ki uh, once the treatment is over, uh, the people around you, even your family members, they think that you are back to normal. And the. Uh, दे थिंक कि अभी ये ठीक हो गया है सो ये भूल जाते हैं दे थिंक द एक्सपेक्टेशन इज दैट यू स्टार्ट बिहेविंग लाइक बिफोर बट पीपल गो थ्रू कैंसर दे नो इट दैट यू आर नॉट द सेम पर्सन एनी मोर इवन नाउ लाइक आई हैव सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इवन दो इट मे नॉट अपीयर ऑन माय फेस और यू नो द वे आई बिहेव सो द ओनली वे इज यू नो सेल्फ डॉक्टर योरसेल्फ एंड मतलब थिंक अप Think about yourself first. कि आपको क्या करने से अच्छा लगता है एंड क्या एंड द बेस्ट थिंग आई थिंक इज कम्युनिकेट विद योर डॉक्टर्स एंड योर क्लोज योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स की आई हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम आई कैन नॉट इट स्पाइसी आई स्टिल हैव द रिंगिंग इन माई हेड सो यू डोंट नीड टू शाउट एंड यू डोंट नीड टू मेक अ लॉट ऑफ नॉइज एंड आई थिंक दैट्स ओनली फॉर डेफ मैंने भी ऐसे किया कि आई यूज टू ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन कि मुझे ये प्रॉब्लम होता है सीरियसली मुझे कि मो ब्रेन है and then gradually they they realize ki yaar ye matlab jhoot mein bol rahi hai uh ye problem hai to i think the best way is to communicate and uh, uh, let them know that you still are 
having such issues and it's it's you're not going to be the same person anymore when after your treatment you're just going to be a totally different person and uh, everything is going to change around you so the people around you think that you are still the same and you are okay now now you can run and you can play and but no that's that's not what happens it is you are a changed person totally yeah hi katie uh, i was just talking to temple about i am a cancer survivor i am uh, i survived stage 4 and i was talking how i came back and uh, how people think that you are the same again but actually you are not because of the physical and mental changes in your body and uh, It was nice listening to you. I was listening to you and seeing the slides, and uh, really, you, you need people like you know, a third-party support to cope up with the mental and physical uh, problems that we went through. I'm 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 located in in the US, and I'm really connected to people since a long time, and I I attend these sessions. I like to listen to people, and I have so many friends in here. So yeah, nice listening to you, and uh, nice to get be here. Great, thank, thank you. you. Thanks a lot, Mehul. Uh, yeah, Mehul was sharing his experience of how his recovery happened after cancer, and uh, I have seen his pictures of during the journey, and uh, he has come a long way for sure. So people lose confidence; they go into depression; they they are not able to come back to the normal see. But then uh, that is where I think the support system is really, really important because it gives them a direction and uh, and a hope that now we are more stronger and. Uh, we just need to do a more better thing so that we are able to go back to how our life was before so maybe the new normal will change now but then definitely it will be better than what it was before because now you got a purpose now you are more strong your will power is at some other level you are more courageous because you have overcome this battle which not if you exactly yeah so great so kitty i will reshare the screen yeah just the last one please um mehul i thank you very much for sharing because that's the exact thing what is happening with people and the system is not supporting that yet but hopefully with more people who realizing that we have to help you where you are and you are totally right that your life it changed but we can help you to to actually change it whatever would be comfortable for you to continue your life and enjoy your life it's not going to be as it was before yes that's true but you you are a wonderful person and you are worthy to enjoy your life continuously it doesn't have to stop there because cancer stopped there yeah it was a stop but it also let you think about um how can you do it better or differently and there you go you got another chance but you built so much strength in you during that time with nobody else had just the other cancer survivors and they would understand you totally because you built something in you and you found the life is very precious and if you want to do it right and you want to do it differently you can do it maybe a little bit slower before but um but you do it that's the main thing you do it and as much normality would you have in your life it's going to be much more easier and even more normal and more normal comes to your, your life again but it's an adjusted normal it's not as it was before but you gained so much about yourself and you learned so much about yourself in the meantime so appreciate that as well okay i just wanted to share um to two ladies who um were my clients and one lady was um uh, from china and we were using translator to coach her and um she was a nurse before and um she wanted to contribute and she wanted to go back to work part time um but if you see what she's saying that in the first session she said that her well-being was 1 and 2 in a scale of 1 to 10 and the same client said at the third session that she feels much better so she rated her well-being between 5 and 6 and the last session so that was the fourth session she said that she feels and her well-being is between 8 and 9 
and she was so thankful that she got back her hope that there is hope in life and she can do this and she can enjoy life as well and she went back to work part time after that and she's doing so well i got a message from her friend who translated between us and she said she's doing fine and the other lady um from england um she rated herself as her well-being tree but um after the end of the session she said uh, at the first session that she said she felt 10 her well-being because she got back her hope she felt that she has perspective in front of her and it's not that hard to figure it out how she can do work how she can have a partner how she can continue her life because she has cancer which needs to be controlled all the time and i'm very happy to share these because i know that um you could be one of them who would be very successful as well and if you would like them to share the last one uh people can contact me if they would like to uh, get support so my email address my instagram page facebook and linkedin as well um if you have a question you can ask i'll be happy to help you and you can also ask now because we have time and please ask thank you so much kiri for the wonderful session and i think these You're are welcome uh, that we know but we don't practice so it's a reminder yes. that you know uh, uh, we should uh, not ignore because we focus on physical wellness but rarely on the mm-hmm. uh, the mental wellness rarely on how in which direction we are going we are just running 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 burn out but then is it really needed and is, is there any better way to do it so thank you so much for the for the wonderful reminder for the session i have a few questions that i received from people lovely thank you yeah first is after treatment how can one go back to their own job or change to a more suitable one so it's always depend on you and how is your body and how do you feel yourself i would recommend to start light exercise as well as paying attention on what nutrition you bring in and definitely start to explore and you can do first just few hours but do the exercise first because you have to keep up with others as well during the day when you go back to work so just imagine that little exercise walk um whatever is recommended to you or you can find on internet what is suitable for me because i have a scar on my left hand side because my arm is not as strong how can i start to build it back or writing pages after not writing even a page before so definitely pay attention what you eat exercise feel it yourself how much you can bear after that and ask your boss if they let you to go back to work one day a week or even one hour a week and two hour a week after that and just build your strength back slowly okay and when you feel that they welcome you back you are perfectly fine you can do this you can also think about it that three days was too much let's go back to two days and you can do two days so discuss it with your manager with your boss or who you ever working with that if you could do two days instead of three because you can do at the moment three but you can do two and you would be happy to contribute okay so it depend on yourself and do it gradually can hear you you are on mute you are muted no problem okay so what so, uh, right and uh, if uh, so uh, the next thing is okay if i have gone through the illness and i've lost weight and i'm not in my good shape uh mm-hmm. what all things we should do to feel healthy again so the person lost weight isn't it this is what the person yeah. saying that lost yeah. losing weight affects yeah yes okay i would say that um in that sense find happiness and try to have back your emotions first 
So ask help with that. And after that, you would get your appetite, but you you need to do a little exercise as well. And I think spiritually, um, it's very important to to be connected and pray as well. And also listening what your little heart telling you. If If on the day you would like to have a walk, take that walk and enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the birds, enjoying an ice cream maybe, or something, something nice for yourself. And you would get back the, the positive emotions after that, okay? So don't try to for, force yourself to eat if you don't have it. Try to find something which you have pleasure to eat and you would get gain back again. Just watch it not to have too much sugar or chocolate or all of those things, okay? Great, thank you uh, uh, so You're much. welcome. Right, uh, the next question is, mm -hmm. just a second, I'm opening it. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, if there are anxiety, fear, negative thoughts, fear of cancer coming back, uh, because that's the mm -hmm. will have after their treatment is over, yeah. how to deal with those? How to deal with those, okay. So, um, thank you for the question. It's a very good question and always comes up. So think about it that 80% um, of our thoughts are unfortunately negative. So just imagine. So 100% of your thoughts of 80% are negative and only 20% is positive. So you have a big responsibility every single day to change your thinking to positive. That's one thing what you can do, okay? And the other thing is that the brain wants to solve problems. So 95% of the 80% of the thoughts are going all around all day long. So not as a professional, not surprised. And we know that people are facing so much fear and stress about cancer coming back or even just everyday simple things in life. So, if you could um, change that or catch your negative thoughts, even if you count them every day, so just watch yourself that I'm thinking about the cancer coming back again. So let's catch that and change it to positive. But I'm doing everything in my power to change that. Some part of it, yes, it's out of my control, but what I can do to be happy, positive, taking nutritional food, exercise, um, spiritually connected, pray, all of these things are helping me to be emotionally positive. So think about it, that you have to change that every single day. And it's an also very good technique to have a word, a word for every single day. So you wake up, you know that yesterday the anxiety came, the stress came, so it's going to come again. So have a positive word for the day. It's your choice, okay? It's your choice, whatever word you would like to have, but definitely think about it, how easy to change a word from negative to positive. So let's say um, stress. What positive word Simla or anyone would, would like to bring up against the stress? What positive word come to your mind straight away, which would be opposite of stress? Do you have one Dimla? What would be that word? What would you choose against stress as a positive word? I would sleep. Tell me, what what would you choose? I would, I would choose to sleep. Tell me that yes, positive word. Yeah. yeah, he said sleep. Sleep, okay. Okay, um, so that's not going to activate you or motivate you. So choose another word, which would be opposite of stress. Mm -hmm. Peace. Love. Very good, very good, very, very good. So when a stress comes up, 
you can say today I'm going to have peace and your mind your body and your emotions are going to align to that so you can try that in the morning so instead of stress or anxiety I'm going to have peace or I'm going to have joy today anyone would you like to bring up another word um, if you have in your mind any other words against stress a good word but peace was very good would you like to share the word which would be opposite of stress you can put it in the chat if you want to so that's the thing what you can do okay so choose a word in the morning so and yeah. Poonam Batra has written happy happy very good very very good and that's going to lift you up in the morning so no stress happy yes no stress peace this is what I want for today and this is what I'm going to experience and this is how it's going to happen and immediately when the little negative thought would come back you could say that I choose to be joyful today or I choose to be peaceful today okay any other question I hope it answered the question it's yeah. a very simple technique totally yeah thank you um, you're welcome uh, this one question that how do we socialize again if we are scared to do it because uh, uh, of not yeah. experience with some people where they were you know they were looking at us from a very different eyes or different perception so how do we take that first step again to socialize with people mm -hmm. very very good I love that question so you can do so many things but the first thing just do it gradually so first just meet with the friends who you trust only and only those friends who can lift you up okay you don't want to hear any negative just the friend who's helpful and lifting you up so first just that person okay and after that you do it gradually so you're not going to a wedding straight away okay you are going to meet for a coffee first with somebody and one or two weeks later when you feel that you can you will be okay you meet for a lunch and after that you you go with the group to do something else and after that you go to the wedding where would be 100 people together or 200 people together so do it gradually and the other thing is which i think would be very very helpful when you are at home just think about what negative things people would say to you and write it down because probably they said it to you already and write down your answer as well what would you answer if somebody would look you up and down and say um is your scar still hurting or something like that i don't know what horrible question people would come up but definitely write it down all of the negative things what you heard before questions and try to answer them and try to memorize it as well so when you are going to meet them you can be polite as well you can't be um you can actually have the comfortable answer and it's not going to cut you on guard so you're not going to be surprised when somebody's hurting you okay so just be prepared have a good answer and when you're facing that just answer it back and also i would like to give you a little tip as well because i do styling and color as well so have something very unusual on you which stand out and people would look to that not exactly to you so they would say that oh your bag is beautiful where did you get it and you can move the conversation about the bag and all of the other things and when you are comfortable you are going to talk about what happened with you if they asking about it but if not don't go on that way just enjoy that day that day is without answering about your cancer treatments okay I hope it was helpful. Yeah, totally. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. Great. Yeah. Uh, Mehul, you wanted to share something? Lovely. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I I was thinking about the first question that Dimple uh, said about you know people mm -hmm. uh, how will they cope up with going back to their work and uh, so I just thought I'll share my experience if the person is listening to uh, me. So after my treatment, I had a hole in my throat. And I had a feeding tube in my stomach, 
and I wanted to get out of my house and start my life again. So that was mm-hmm. my thought. It all depends on how you think. For me, so I started looking for a job. Uh, I was in a new country. I had to quit my earlier job, so I had to start from zero. So I I got a job in a call center. And um, a call center, what do we do? We talk all day, right, on the phone. I I had a vocal cord that's not working. I had a cancer on my tumor, uh, tumor on my vocal cord. So and I was desperate to just go out, no matter how much they pay me or they. I just wanted to, you know, leave everything again and start a new life. So I took up the job, um, and um, my voice was hoarse. I, I could not talk along. I, I had to keep sipping water. And I had a bandaid on my, on my wound, and it was still open. So I used to talk like this by pressing the, by th- through the mic, so my the air doesn't escape from there, and I can talk. And in my breaks, I used to go to the restroom and uh, feed myself from the feeding tube. And I did never hide my problems to anybody in, in my office, and I never do that still until date. So I I tell them. Hey, I have fought a war. I have survived, and I am. I have these problems. So my experience is that they do not degrade you. They do not think that you are different. They give. They, I have always got the uh, special attention. Hey, he he is someone special. Okay, he. And I would tell them, I can do this job. I cannot do this job. Some things I cannot do. Some things I can do. So exactly. always speak up to your employers. Speak up to your HR. Every company has an HR that has to follow some uh, some uh, federal rules. Uh, you can sue the company if they don't do that. So uh, uh, you should talk to them. Let them know, hey, I am this. Okay, I I have I have this this in, in the US it is a it is a disability. But I've not taken those advantages of being a disabled because I don't I don't think I'm a disabled person. No. So everyone who has come out of this go back. If an if you see a soldier who has fought a war and who has lost his hand in the war, he's you will feel proud of him. Hey, he fought for us, so he lost his arm. Okay. Feel the same for yourself. Hey, okay, I fought, so I have a hole in my throat, so I have a scar here. Uh, it's no big deal. So uh, the other day, somebody called me up and said, Hey, uh, I have an interview, and they might send me for a medical checkup. And it, what if they come to know that I have cancer? I said, Why don't you tell that before? You have to. Do your job in that uh, mindset that hey, someone will come to know. Then I'll have to leave my job. So don't lie. Just tell them what it is. If if they don't take you, they they are not a good fit for you. That's it. So <laughs> yes, they are not a good fit for you. Yes, very good. Yeah, I am the best. They are they are not a good fit. I'll find someone else. Okay. So exactly. Yes. Well done. Thank you so much for sharing it. It's very very uplifting. So yes, and even with not having voice and working in a call center so well done because you really really wanted and you're capable to do that even more than others with perfect voice and talking with four or five languages you did it fantastic well done amazing amazing yeah, amazing, so that's amazing. It. So never never think yourself as someone low or go down in that attitude think yourself as the best and that really helps yeah yes great thank you excellent Thank you so much. So, Katie, uh, anything? Any last few words or things that you would want to uh, share with all the people who have just won the battle and uh, going, going to you know look at life from a different perspective, from different eyes. So, anything that you would want to share for all those people, uh, patients, caregivers, um, which will help them? Yeah. So first of all, thank you very much for the attention and in the engagement. It was amazing to be in this group and hearing stories and how you healed and just don't give up at all just go forward and forward every single day and if you need support always ask support and as Mel was saying that let them know this is this is what it is and can I work here can I do this job let me try it and if they are not suitable for you there's hundreds others who would be suitable for you and um, Use those little tricks. Don't be frightened about your negative thoughts. Just be aware that they are there 
just catch them and try to change them to to positive okay and if you have any other questions i think you can send it to dimple and i would get it from her and i will be happy to answer those questions okay so thank you very much again thank you everyone and thanks kg for the wonderful session insights and uh, the wonderful You're welcome addressing the untapped need for uh, for this so really really appreciate it and thanks everybody for You're welcome joining in yeah look forward to seeing you all in next healing circle talks thanks all thank you take care thank you very much bye 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 bye, bye.